the robot lure to roll a super noisy bait. My fish senses are tingling. Right there, guys. How's it going, guys? Today is gonna be quite interesting. Here's the weather forecast. Rainy, windy, yucky. You know what that means, right? It's top water time. So we're gonna do a little challenge today. Pulled out my phone. Let's open up the roulette app. I've got 10 different top waters. Some of them are very unusual and unique. Some of them are more common. We're gonna see what the fish gods want me to fish with first. Slowing down and we're gonna start with, oh, that's a classic, spook. Put it on. All right, that's all I've got. Did not bring my backpack because I don't want to get soaked. Got a Ziploc bag with the 10 different baits and we're gonna pull out the classic, the spook. For this challenge, we're gonna set a 10 minute timer. Once it's up, we're gonna switch to the next bait. Here goes the spook. Classic bait. Nice side to side walking action. The only bad thing is I was hoping for a louder, more noisy bait on my first roll because we've got very low light conditions, muddy water from all the rains last night, and a lot of wind. But you never know. I'll try to fish it real shallow and hopefully a fish will still pick it up. That's the cast right there. That third cast, third freaking cast. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. Get on the boat, oh my God. What the, no, 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 no. Get your ass back on the bank. Oh, what the f oh. Guys, look at this football. That's a freaking football. I don't have my scale, that's at least a four pounder. That's one of the fattest fish I've ever seen in my life. We are one minute into the challenge. Wipe off the camera. God, I wish you guys could see this in person. This is one of the most obese fish I've ever seen. All right. This is why we're out here today, guys. It's top water time. Oh, my bad. Oh, God, he's so fat he can hardly swim. That's how you start the morning right there. So, just to let you guys know, we are fishing a golf course pond, but I fished this pond about eight times. Half of them, I've gotten skunked. These fish can be extremely finicky. The best time to catch them is right after a heavy rainstorm in the first, first thing in the morning. That's why I'm out here today. It's game time. Oh, that's time. All right, not a bad start to the morning. Let's go ahead and roll a new bait. Hopefully we get something a little more interesting this time. That spook, while it's a good bait, a little boring for these conditions. Oh, 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 I thought we were gonna get the robot lure. All right, we've got the mouse. This is another good bait. So, we're gonna put away our spook and we're gonna pull out right here, the mouse lure. It's gonna have a little bit of a rattle. Definitely better for these conditions, but I don't know how many mice really wander into this particular pond. Timer is set, let's give this mouse slur a shot. So this is the only bait in those 10 selections that isn't a true top water, I would say. It's more of a wake bait. It probably dives about five millimeters below the surface or so. Let's go and take a look right here. I mean, it's pretty much a top water. If, if something hits it, you're gonna see the strike. So in essence, still a top water. I mean, it's got sound, it's got vibration. Kind of looks more like a snake, but I think it should be able to entice at least one of these fish to bite in these 10 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna get one. It'll probably be on this cast. I don't know about this mouse bait though. It's a little too subtle for these conditions. Oh, that's it. Mouse bait, no luck. Not even a sniff on the mouse lure. I think because this bait is a little bit too natural, you really wanna use wake baits in clear, more calm conditions. So let's hope on this next roll we get something a little bit better. I mean, I really want to roll a super noisy bait for these windy morning conditions. Let's see what the fish can, oh, please. Oh, with the pompadour. All right, another crazy bait. We are gonna try out 
the robot lure. Ah, fish gods, why? I know you guys probably can't hear it, but I can hear that bait jittering like crazy in the water. Maybe it'll work better than I thought. I'm just gonna work it kind of aggressively, make a lot of noise with it, and hopefully I can get one of these fish to notice it. I mean, if I was a fish, I'd wanna hit that bait. Look at that. Look at the action on this bait. Look at that tail wobbling action. Are you really telling me nothing wants to eat that? Man. Oh, oh no, right in front of me. Oh, the freaking robot lure. Oh, I set the hook too early. I did not think this was gonna work. Oh my gosh, please come back for the robot lure. Please eat my robot. You guys saw that. He actually took the robot lure. It was on the pause when the bait was freaking vibrating. God, I got too excited. It was right in front of me. Oh my gosh, man. No! I was just getting into this bait. All right, we're gonna throw one more cast and then we're gonna switch it up. Good news is we got a bite on the robot lure. I'm still not sure whether or not I would consider this a legit bait or more of a gimmicky bait. It has a really nice twerking action in the backside. Pretty decent cup lip. Cast relatively, relatively far. Not a bad bait, but again, these conditions, not ideal. What we really need is a loud, noisy bait. So let's hope the fish gods please bless us with something that makes a lot of noise. I'm right, slowing down and we are gonna get, oh, the jitterbug. Hey, I'll take it. That is a classic bait. Makes a lot of noise, a lot of vibration. And in fact, we actually have the jointed jitterbug right here. I haven't used this bait in years. If I caught a fish on it, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, give it a shot. The classic jitterbug, jointed body, cupped lip. Let me show you the action. This is one of those forgotten baits that with all the new marketing hype, you know, with the Whopper Plopper, the Chatter Baits, the Alabama Rigs, this bait's kind of fallen to the wayside, but I still think it's a pretty decent bait. What's really unique about the jitterbug is it actually has a gurgling action, which is unique from any other topwater. I personally think that we're gonna get a bite on this. Oh, there's one, yes! I knew the jitterbug, what is, oh God, it's a fatty. It's a, oh, stop jumping. It's a freaking fatty. Come here, baby. Oh, no, please. Stop, he's so fat, he's trying to jump but he can't even get out of the water. You're too fat to escape. You're too obese, buddy. You ain't going nowhere. It's your fault for not exercising enough. God, stop jumping. My gosh. Please stop. Stop, 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 stop. How these fish are. Ah! Oh. Wait. Wait a second, guys. Guys. Is this the same fish that I caught? No, no, this one's bigger. This one's about a five pounder. I mean, if I, guys, look at this fish. I kid you not, this is about four and three quarters to five pounds. For sure, no, this might be over five. This guy is fat. I mean, these are golf course fish, so it's awesome that I'm catching them, but you know, you gotta take it with a grain of salt. This is for sure a very beautiful, nice fish. We're gonna let her go. All right, jitterbug, jitterbug bass. You've never seen that before, have you, buddy? Get out of here, fat mama. Woo! Whoo! Gotta come out here at the right conditions. I mean, that's the crazy thing about this pond. These fish, there's not very many of them in this pond. I'm not even kidding, there's not that many, but every single one is a freaking chunk. Like a chunky chunk. Like a four plus pounder chunk is what I'm saying. Honestly, it was about time I caught one from this corner. You got the wind blowing all the way towards this bank. It's absolutely perfect for this morning. I probably made at least 30 casts to this exact spot. And it wasn't until I threw Mr. Jitterbug that fish decided to bite. That's kind of why we're doing this challenge, just to experiment to see which type of baits work in conditions like these, where you got not very many fish, but they're giant fish. And honestly, they're a little bit hard to catch. I mean, you guys saw, I've been fishing for like 40 plus minutes in prime conditions, only got three bites so far. Oh, that's it for the jitterbug. Ah, you did well, my old friend, you did well. That was a good round right there. The jitterbug back in our bag of topwaters. 
and let's see what we get next. Uh, spin the wheel. We have not had any duplicates yet. If we do get a duplicate, we'll just use the bait next to it. So, because we don't want to use the same bait over and over again. Oh! Oh! Whopper Blopper! Yes! Dude, that was the bait I was hoping for this entire time. We're gonna be throwing the full-sized Whopper Plopper. You guys see these conditions? It's about to go down. It just started raining. Check out the Whopper Plopper, guys. It's basically a prop bait on steroids. It's got a giant prop on the back. It makes a ton of noise. Look at that thing. The awesome thing about this bait is that you can fish it multiple ways. You can just give it a slow, steady retrieve. You can stop and start it. You can pop it, pause, fish it like a popper. But right now I'm gonna cover a ton of water because these fish should be getting somewhat active with this uh, rain coming in. I have a good feeling about this. Ooh, whopper plopper in the rain. Man, I don't think it's gonna get better than this. Watch me hook like a 10 pounder out of here. Good morning, how's it going? Yeah, I'm, about, I'm probably gonna head out in about 15 minutes. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Nice guy right there. We got the thunderstorms coming in, so we're gonna be able to fish this bait and one more then. We gotta call it quits because I don't wanna get struck by lightning. The golf course doesn't want me to get struck by lightning. Lightning, not good. Oh, the whopper plopper, the whopper plopper, the whopper plopper, the whopper plopper. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's the whopper plopper. Oh, yes. So this guy's not as big, but it's a much harder fighter because these fish, when they get obese, they can't really move as much. This is a beautiful three to three and a half pounder. A lot of spunk on him. All right, we're just gonna flip him. Flip him up on the bank. Okay, okay, wet grab. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's the fertilizers in here or what, but these fish, oh, sh almost hooked myself. No, 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 stay, stay. <sighs> that's another, that's a four pounder, guys. That is easily a four pounder. Every single fish in here, freaking chunk. Chunk in the rain. Oh, freaking love it, man. <sighs> love top water fishing, love golf course fishing. Sometimes you just gotta go the easy route and have some fun with it. All right, all right. Still got a little more time with the Whopper Plopper. Throw him back in there. <sighs> I feel like Takahiro Mori. We got like five minutes left. It's crunch time right here. Let's get him. Man, this rain's really coming down now, guys. Should've brought my rain jacket. Rookie mistake. That's the cast, I'm feeling it. My fish senses are tingling. I knew it! I told you guys! That was like, we have like one minute left to fish. I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. Come here, baby. Get in the bank. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's big. Oh, wait, he's running. This is a big one. Pouring rain, guys. Ah, come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, yes. Oh, that's another beauty. No, 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 no. I'm not losing any fish today. Get on the boat. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, that's time. And that's time. Woo. We did it, guys. Challenge, well done, I'd say. Whew. Right there, guys. That is some quality golf course pond fishing. We'll let this big mama go. All right, baby, get back in there. Beautiful fish. This water is really warm, 80 plus degrees. Get out of here, big mama. On that note, it's time to go. If you don't want to get struck by lightning, that'd be very bad. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Woo.